Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going to be talking about the ATX 3.0 standard and some of the issues or concerns regarding that standard and how does that apply to cryptocurrency mining, right? We had a number of our favorite content creators uh, talk about some of the issues that they have. We're going to go over that. Uh, but before we go any further, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners, and on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering, and their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's Mining Profitability Calculator. Just like ASIC Miner Value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash, and they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder, but just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and by supporting them you're supporting the channel and i couldn't thank you enough but let's get back to the video now actually i made a video a while ago uh kind of advising the end user to be careful of aftermarket 12 pin connectors and with the uh, newer atx 3.0 standard we're gonna have 12 pin and then we're gonna have 16 pin uh 16 pin just basically has four extra pins uh on the connector to really communicate uh, you know to allow the power supply to communicate with the gpu and back and forth you know so that way you can have cleaner or a more stable power delivery now jace two cents uh talked about this uh in extents as well as gamers nexus regarding the connector as these gpus become more and more power hungry that's going to bring us further issues especially in the crypto mining arena because most of us are running you know a 1200 watt server type power supply we might run one atx power supply with a uh, server power supply to supplement it or we might run all server power supplies and that's going to be a problem not so much um from the transient loads or not only excuse me not so much but not only because of transient loads concerns but the actual connector because we're going to have to split our eight pins or dual eight pin into a 12 pin or a 16 or triple eight pin into a 16 pin and with these newer connectors the atx 3.0 standard you know one can pull 600 watts through the 12 pin connector and of course as these gpus become more and more power hungry it causes issues really you know gamers should be aware right and that that's great that the content creators are putting this information out there and trying to warn them um and but pci sig or pci sig has actually seen some additional concerns here right so multiple bend directions tested like when you bend your cable and cable management in your normal case um you know trying to make sure because we often do that and sometimes that can cause tension on the connector itself Time to failure observed from 10 to 30 hours. All samples made from copper alloy terminals with 14 or 16 gauge wire. Samples tested were both discrete wire and internally bust with solder terminations. And then three different manufacturers have been tested. At least 10 sample assemblies have been observed to either melt or generate hot spots. And so this isn't as big of a concern from gamers because... You know, for one, that's another thing we got to talk about is the connector, right? You can only connect and disconnect the 12 pin or 16 pin about 30 times. And while that may not be a big thing for the gamer, it may be a big thing for the miner because we often have to swap around, test, uh, replace, clean up, whatever. So we're probably going to wind up disconnecting and reconnecting the connector. At least I would estimate in a lifetime of a GPU, at least 15 to 20 times so you're getting really close there and we could see here this is actually on the power supply side not so much the gpu side but we could see that uh you know pci sig observed that uh there were hot spots on these connectors after two and a half hours a, a typical time frame for gaming 
Um, but when mining, right, we're wearing these GPUs at 24 hours, 365, and that's going to be extensive loads. And especially if it's in a hot environment, say, for example, a grow tent like my setup, it's the ambient air temperature is going to be even hotter than it would for a gaming or a typical gaming type setup. And so the melting point of those wires may be a little bit lower or to, to reach that threshold. Uh, additionally, there was some burning up of the wires itself and burning up of the pin. If you look very carefully here, now, let me full screen it. If I get out of your way, you will actually see that one of the pins kind of like melted or like the plastic around it. I'm not sure exactly, but these pins are very tiny inside of these uh, actual 12 pin and 16 pin connectors. So ATX 3.0, while it brings greater uh, power capabilities for our GPUs, it's going to bring some concerns as well, especially if you're running these GPUs 24 seven in your mining operation. Uh, additionally, you know, it comes down to not only the amount of times that you have to connect and disconnect the GPU, but also, uh, you know, the thermal environment that it's going to be living in. And again, mining operations, usually the thermals are really warm as far as ambient air temperatures. And then we're pushing a lot of power through these systems or through these GPUs. And from my understanding at startup, you're actually pulling, and I've seen this before where we're testing out some of the newer GPUs, even in 3080 and uh, some of the 37Ti, stuff like that, is on boot, the card would spike up real quick, draw a lot of juice, and then calm back down. And during that initial boot, especially for a mining rig, when you have a lot of these power-hungry cards, that might be a little bit too much for the power supply to handle, and we could bump into the same issue as we talked about with transient loads, uh, with these constant spikes in power draw, and then drop back down. So what, what I would call a uh, ripple. Um, and... If PCI SIG is seen, uh, you know, concerning conditions with these connectors, and again, that's at the power supply connector, not so much GPU connector. Um, I wonder how that's going to fare with the server type power supplies where we're using a breakout board and, uh, you know, dual or triple eight pin to some type of aftermarket connector or even an NVIDIA provided connector. Will that burn out? Will there be issues? Will there be problems with it overall people have already been having issues with the 16 pin and the 12 pin i don't suspect that's going to get any better um you can see zotac here in their picture has triple or excuse me four eight pin connectors powering the 16 pin that's absolutely crazy and to run that through a server power supply you know a 4090 let's say i would probably only put at max three on a server power supply with a typical breakout board maybe not the zsx breakout board where you have your 24 pin for your motherboard and all the other connectors but for a normal breakout board that probably has only uh 12 you know obviously a, a 4090 with four of these eight pins that's going to be about the max that that 1200 watt power supply could connect to but that may be well over what it's capable of handling 1200 watts each of these cards pulling about 400 450 maybe spiking and i know in mining we're, we're actually running these cards a lot uh, lower than what they're rated for, but you're gonna have you're gonna bump into issues with the connection itself, taking it out, putting it back in, whether you're cleaning, maintaining, moving the rigs, whatever. You're gonna bump into connector issues. Then, depending on how you route your wires, if you are cable managing, be careful how far you bend the connectors themselves. And oftentimes, it's not where it's not the wire that fails; it's the connector itself that fails. So, all of these variables kind of makes me concerned for a mining operation now i'm pretty sure we could set up a six gpu rig uh, of all 4090s and as long as we got plenty of power we would be fine right four times three is 12 1200 watts so at least 4090 that's that's if we're running it lower but during the boot process during you know maybe your overclocks fail it resets goes back to default and now these cars are trying to draw 450 watts from your power supply and you have three of them on this one 1200 watt server power supply is that going to burn up not only the wire or the splitter or the connector but also the zsx or regular breakout board and is that going to damage the power supply itself from these huge upticks in current slash power draw but we can't really validate this data until we actually have these gpus on hand i'm sure many of you in the mining community 
will be getting your hands on either a 4090, a 4080, whatever it may be, and be able to validate if this is an issue. And as we hear more and more people getting on Reddit in various forums, warning us, hey, this is my issue, my cable burnt up, just be careful. Um, obviously, if you're an at-home miner, I don't want you to burn down your house. So just be smart with the number of, uh, of times you're removing the 12-pin and 16-pin connector, counting up to 30. Try to stay below 15 uh, You know, disconnects and reconnects. As well, make sure you're getting good quality connectors. If it's not provided directly by NVIDIA, it should be provided by the GPU manufacturer itself. Um, if you do get a third party from like Amazon or whatever, just go and double check uh you know that store or that manufacturer or that vendor make sure you're getting a good quality connector don't burn your house down so we'll see as time progress what happens with these new guys uh i'm excited for the atx 3.0 standard but i am disappointed in some of the issues the end user is going to have a, uh, have to face not only from the gamers perspective but from the mining perspective as well. However, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and that's going to do it for today's video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here, like today's video sponsor, and much more. And you just take care. I'll catch you next one.